If you get chipped, you shall be dipped. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me the truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The tabernacle of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth, and to you I say, Shalom. Now it's going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And as you see, you know, a lot of the brothers, you know, they're in the spirit of going into the MOTB, man. You see that? Elder Pastor Har, you know, push the vibration out that, you know, brothers should flood YouTube, right, with, uh, with these videos here, you know. And this is what we're doing, man, All right? So going back to the title of the lesson here, I try to do it live and, you know, and please forgive me, you know, Jake. Yeah, but anyway, if you get chipped, you shall be dipped. Dipped in what? I ain't talking about no damn uh, bean sauce. I'm not talking about no guacamole or none of that shit. You see that? I'm talking about you're going to be dipped in that lake of fire, man, that John the Revelator saw. You see that? Or why he had the visions on the Isle of the Patmos. You see? So, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, let this thing play. Right? And your Haarath is out this lesson here will be edifying straight to the point. Technology has advanced to an extent where we use finger scans and face IDs full-fledgedly. But when it comes to implanting chips under the skin, it doesn't seem to have reached its full potential. The act still feels like a gimmick rather than a modern robotic human. And such is the scenario when this, technolo this technology has already existed for many, many decades. And did you hear what she said? She said that this technology has already existed for many, many decades. I got a book in here, right, called Spy Chips, you know? And yeah, man, it says the same thing in the book. You know, this isn't something that's new. This isn't something that we're, you know, just making up and pulling out our, you know, pulling out of our hats. You know, this stuff has been out there already, man. But you still got people out there that are in denial. You see that? And you being in denial, you know, it's not going to stop this prophecy from coming to pass. You see that? And we're, we're warning you, right, as being a watchman, we're warning you that if you get chipped, you shall be dipped in that fire. See that? Let's keep going. Now, would you ever get an electronic chip under your skin? The answer should be hell no. You see that? But you got people out there that's already contemplating right on on getting this stuff here man right and the scriptures were very 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 matter of fact let me see it the scriptures were very plain about receiving you know or getting this technology under your skin we're going to jump right into the book of leviticus i actually brought this out the other day while i was you know i did a live lesson with the priest Amuan and also the brother Kwanawa for the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 28, and it reads, You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. You see, so the Lord was be being very specific, man. Right? Very plain. You shouldn't get no uh, 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 cuttings in your flesh. Now, you got people out there, you know, they may say, Well, what if I have to have surgery? You know, like for, you know, for an example, my father, his liver is starting to reject his body. You know, my dad has to go under the knife. You know, now this is a life and death situation where, you know, he, you know, if he doesn't get it, then, you know, he may pass away. But, you know, everything is through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You see that? But going back to this right here, right, this MOTB. Right, you should not get this stuff under your skin because if you receive this C hip under your skin, right, you are anti Hamashiach, right, and you shall be dipped in the fire. Let's go back here. Like I said, I want to keep it real quick. <sighs> Chips 
implanted under the skin tend to carry the RFID technology. Now, RFID, or radio frequency identification, enables technologies like tap to pay and subway cards. So in case you don't want to carry your bags and bank cards to pay, you can have such chips installed under your skin. One can also install sensors and avoid carrying keys to home and unlocking cars. And it goes way deeper than that, man. You know, you can, you know, use tap and pay at cash registers, right? So you can what? Buy and sell. See that referring to the book of uh, Revelation chapter 13, right? Verse 16 through 18, man. You see? So, you know, just just blowing the trumpet out there for you brothers and you few sisters, right? If you get chipped, if you get chipped, you're going to be dipped, man. All right? And, you know, believe you me. You know, I would rather get my head cut off, right, than to, you know, uh, 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 be, be caught up in that lake of fire. As a matter of fact, let me grab that. Because John the Revelator, he saw that too. Let me see here. Let's go straight to the point. What's that? Uh, and I'm going to grab it. You know, let's grab that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 20. And I'm going to read verse 4. And it reads, and I saw thrones. This is what John the Revelator saw. You see that? And I saw thrones. And they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them you see that and we us men we pray that we are part of this number man right we do we pray that we are part of the elect you see the hopeful elect this is why scriptures say put on as the elect man you see anyway it says and i saw the souls of them that were what beheaded for the witness of yahweh you see so yeah man all right you're gonna have brothers and even few sisters you know, and even children, you know, that may be beheaded, you see that, for not receiving this thing. And I'm and just being personal, you know, or, or my personal opinion, I'd rather go through this right here, something quick, right, than to be caught in that fire, man. Because you don't know how long the Lord, you know, because um, the Lord said that he's a consuming fire, man. So you don't know how long and how it's going to feel when you're caught up in that fire. And believe you me. When you watch that movie, uh, what's that, uh, Terminator Judgment Day, where Sarah Connor was standing on the fence, right, and she had her, you know, uh, 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 you know, she had her flesh consumed away, you know, while she stood upon her feet, referring to the scriptures, you know, I don't want to go through that, man, right, I'm just being personal, I'm, I'm just speaking as a man, I'd rather go through this right here, you know, like, just straight up and down, anyway, continuing on, I saw the, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the most high and had shlaki and which had not worshiped the beast neither his image neither received his mark see that upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with hamashiach a thousand years you see that and we pray we pray right that you know we we yeah man you know so again you know Going back to the lesson here, man, you know, just something real quick, you know, nothing deep, nothing long, you know, just doing, you know, just warning you brothers and few sisters out there, man, if you get chipped, if you, if you get chipped, you shall be dipped, man. I'm telling you, you know, and this is why we pray to receive the other mark, right? What other mark, brother? The mark of exemption. You see that? Let's grab that. This is the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 9, verse 4. And when you go into this word mark, it means the wah. You see? The mark of exemption. This is the mark that we pray to receive. You know? And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Right? Now, Jerusalem is a people before it is a place. You see? And set a what? A mark. When you look at that word up, it means the wah. Upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that's right, man. This is why we're, you know, us brothers and even a few sisters, we're sighing and crying, right? Because of all of, you know, all the bugged out and abominable things, you know, that we see on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, we're vexed by the filthy conversations of these people, man. You know, we really are. You know, it's, 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 it's. You know, you got, you got a bunch of pestilences that are coming out now. You know, one brother, he did a video, uh, the elder of the um, GMS uh, uh, New York camp. He did a, a quick video, you know, showing you where, you know, he believe or not where he believes, but 
showing you where, you know, these impacts uh, come from, man. You know, and that's these people out here. Uh, what's the word I want to use? These people out here just, you know, I just say being very nasty. You see, so this is the mark that we hope to receive, man. Right, and you brothers and you few sisters out there that are watching it and you're new and you still comfortable in this place here, I don't know. You better pray and repent. This place here should be getting on your nerves, you know. So, you know, just just want to do this lesson here, you know, just something real quick through the spirit and power of your how about Shema was shot. Let me see if I go to Lou letter real quick, you know. Let's grab this. <clears throat> this is the book of Revelation, chapter 16. And I'm going to start at verse 1, and I'm going to read it in the NLT. And it reads, Then I heard a mighty voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pull out on the earth the seven uh, bowls containing the Most High's wrath. All right? And this is why you're seeing a bunch of crap happening now, man. You know, because the Lord is, is, is not uh, holding his peace no more, man. Right? This, this place here is being smitten with plagues. You see? Anyway, verse 2. And it's going to get worse. Verse 2. So the first angel uh, left the temple and poured out his bowl upon earth. And horrible and malignant sores broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his statue. You know, now you got to be careful when you go into these other translations because they do be going off. You know, but yeah, man. Everybody who worships this beast. right, And also uh, that image. You see that? And when you go into these things here, you know, today or America is Rome 2.0, man. You know, that's why you have things. Matter of fact, the priest brought this out. That's why you have things like the, you know, the um, back then you had the, what do you call it? The coliseums. You know, today you have what? Stadiums. And people playing football and all of that. And they're all over the place, man. All right. And also, you know, you have things. Uh, let me see here got certain things like the um, back then that you had the patricians and the plebeians today you have what you know your democrats and your republicans man you know the senate house you know so you can look these things up and you can plainly see that this place here is rome 2.0 and also scriptures call this place spiritual sodom in egypt man where our lord was crucified man right this is why this place here does not uphold right the laws of the lord man you understand so you know just again right just going back right if you get if you get chipped right you shall be dipped in that fire man you know it's there is no repentance for it you know it don't matter if you get it in your butt cheek right or on, on your ass or you know it's the same thing it don't matter if you get get the seat hip anywhere you should not be getting this stuff here in your body and you've been warned by the prophets that are out there man you see? So, you know, I'm pretty much going to wrap this thing up right here. Just want to do this lesson here. Just something real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Right? And to the next time I say, Shalom. If you get chipped, if you get chipped, you shall be dipped. Right.